Matthias Grote, I have asked you to explain a little bit so that normal citizens can understand what on earth is going on. And I mean it literally, on earth is going on when it comes to emissions. Now the parliament has been discussing, is it correct understood by myself, um, new ways of reducing uh, emissions and increasing the prices for quota? We introduced a new system that the emission trading system we have since 2005 and we are now in the third in the third term that the new emission trading system is more flexible that means if we have not two percent growth because before in the first second and also in the third period of the emission trading uh, system before the financial crisis yeah actually. before the financial crisis mm -hmm. the whole system was built up with two percent uh, growth so and if you are above you have a problem above two percent hopefully we have times again where we have above two percent growth but if you are below two percent then you have also a problem because then there are too many certificates in the market and if it's above two percent growth are uh, uh, less in the market but may I even here start by challenging you a bit mm -hmm. um, you're talking about quota a part you have uh, you can sell, you can buy. Mm -hmm. What are you really selling? What are you really buying? You are selling the permission to emit one ton of CO2 into the atmosphere. And there is a fixed number of certificates. And these certificates are reduced year by year of a percentage of 1.74%, so that we really achieve the reduction goals we uh, set here in the Parliament with the climate package from 2008. With the aim to what's the to reduce CO2 emissions where it's cost efficient. And that needs what kind of law? That means that we need a law. Uh, we installed the system in 2005, but now we fix the system because uh, what I ex tried to explain <laughs> that uh, the old system was very statical. And now it's from one, uh, 1st of January 2019, it's more dynamic system with two borders. 833 million certificates in the market is one, the top border and below it's 400 million. And so that the, pro that the certificates are on the market are between these borders. But when companies can sell and buy, how can you ensure that the common citizen at the end will profit? Because, uh, because uh, we have a carbon price. It was too low in the past because there were too many certificates in the market. And with this system, we adopted uh, today here in the parliament the mar market stability reserve, a really awful word, I must say, MSR called uh, in the short form. Uh, what is that? Market stability reserve, okay. MSR. Uh, it's, and uh, with this instrument, uh, we have the guarantee for investors also to promote renewable energies that the really numbers of certificates are really between these two borders in the end of the day and that they are not above because we have now 1.5 billion certificates in the market really too much certificates and a very low price the price was lower before uh, on, on as we discussed backloading we had a, a certificate price of 3 euro 60 that means a cup of coffee, a cappuccino at the airport was uh, much more expensive than a ton of CO2. And uh, it's a European instrument. Also Norway, uh, Liechtenstein and other states are involved in the system. And we have a really carbon market. Everyone is talking about green jobs. It's been discussed here at the parliament session in July yes. here in Strasbourg as well. Does that come in somewhere when we are talking about um, reducing emissions? Yeah, it's a framework. 
The emission trading system is a framework, it's a core instrument of European climate politics and energy politics to reduce really the carbon emissions. Where do you foresee the most jobs to come when it comes to green jobs? Renewable energies. Yeah. Renewable but energies, but also energy efficient houses, so that you really have uh, specialists. And everywhere, everywhere is, uh, is a huge workload. It's and also a green job to uh, be rebuilding a house which was not in a sufficient way. Yes, of course. Uh, keeping to, yeah. out. Well, to maintain, yeah. maintain the roof, mm -hmm. uh, install PV panels, and uh, that you isolate it. But you have a lot of problems, even in your country, in Germany, to um, fulfill the basic wishes for a change in energy. Yes. How can you promote things that think come back where they should be? With a functional emission trading system. Because the paradox is that if the carbon price is low, in Germany the uh, difference between the price for renewables and the carbon price is uh, this amount of money people have to have to pay with the energy bill. And the energy bill is very high uh, because the new, this, this difference, uh, it's very complicated, I know, <laughs> I know to explain it, and it's very paradox, but uh, a high carbon price is driving and pushing and promoting renewable energies. But what it, really shocked me last week was the news that stopping the production of coal for um, energy mm. means that the prices on energy are raising dramatically to the customers. The true, the, the true is the true is we have not really an instrument to compare different energy sources. If you take everything into account, perhaps for a kilowatt hour in the production of nuclear. You need an insurance. In, in Germany, only, only 3% it's possible to have an insurance for it, for nuclear plants. That means 97% if something happens, the society is responsible for it. And so normally we need in Europe, but also in all 28 member states, an internalization of the external costs. That means also for a ton of CO2, which was produced in the coal power plant, uh, it's responsible for climate change. And in the end of the day, we have yeah, to pay for climate change because we have the rising of the sea levels, we have uh, really heavy storms and also damages at, at houses. We have to uh, hire the dikes uh, at the North Sea and in some areas in the, in the Baltic Sea uh, we have also a rising sea level so that people have to move. And these costs are not included in the price of the energy production. And my idea is, and also from some others, we need a system in the European Union to compare different sources, internalization of the external costs. That means what is not, we have only the production on the build. But for, for storms and so on and so on, our insurance company asked us for higher, for higher uh, tariffs then. And this is normally must be a part of the energy bill. And then you can see that renewable energies are much more, much more uh, 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 lower in the price than, than fossil energy production forms.